pretty mess. I'm sorry, Dolores. Are you? Well, there's nothing I could do, Dolores. I tried. I tried everything I could think of. You have no idea how hard it is to live up to your expectations. You tried. You tried. Just like you tried when you took Kenneth away from me. Just like you tried when you broke Mother's favorite clock and blamed it on me. Just like you tried when you mucked me in front of all of those people. Play acting, Joyce. It doesn't suit you. I remember for a moment I was happy. Minty was still alive. And I was young. I was wearing my finest calico. And the music played. And we danced. Oh, how we danced. And for a moment, I thought, what did you think? I can't remember you interrupted my train of thought. So, here we are. So, oh, here we are. You, and me, and that dead cat. Funny, isn't it? Is it? Once it was alive and it was called a minty, but now it's dead, a dead cat. It's, perhaps it's not such a terrible thing. What? Perhaps it's not such a terrible thing that poor old Minty is in feline heaven. He was terribly old and beginning to smell and one of his legs had gone funny and he was almost completely blind and he couldn't even eat food anymore. It kept falling out of his mouth and onto the carpet. And, well, perhaps it is kindest that he has now. Died. This cat was my only friend, and you know it's a metaphor for our mother. How could you, Joyce? How could you? It's not enough for you that you took away the love of my mother. You also had to take away the only thing that ever loved me. Oh, Minty! Minty! Oh, Minty, Minty, Minty! should see someone. A doctor. Why would I see a doctor? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps because of that niggling cough of yours. Oh, you know how a spell at the sanatorium will clear it right up. You'd love that, wouldn't you? Well, it might be nice. How did he die? Who? How? Die. Minty. Oh, well, I don't know, Dolores. You don't know? No, I don't know. You don't know? 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 My cat. You'll never know what happened to that cat. But I can see it in your eyes. <gasps> that cat hated you. That cat was my only friend. You made it sit on a sledge while you pulled it around the garden dressed in a bonnet. Girl! Oh! oh. Dolores! Oh. oh, no. Oh, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me with your hands. Oh! oh. 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 I think I've hurt my hip. I might just lie here a while. 
Oh, my darling, my darling. You just lie here for a while. You've had a terrible shock. I've had a terrible shock. You just lie here. I'll get us a nice glass of hot milk. Hot milk? Milk. Minty. Oh, shush, shush. I'll call Dr. Franklin. You remember him, don't you, dear? Oh, yes. Dear Dr. Franklin. He touched me in the park. Yes, that's right. He said your hair was so very nice and that one day you would be special and even though you weren't as pretty as me, it didn't mean you wouldn't make a perfectly good mother one day. And he was so good with mother. Do you remember when she was ill? He used to make her laugh so even when she'd been bad and she was chomping on the mantelpiece, he'd still pin her down and give her her medicine. Do you remember? Not this time, Joyce. Dolores. This time, you're not getting what you want. I'm not in balance and twisted and vile. I'm a perfectly sane, healthy young woman. And you. You never wanted me to be happy, did you? Oh, now, Dolores, I know you're still upset about Kenneth and the clock and the terrible mocking and mother. I don't give a damn about mother. I'm not that frightened little girl with the thick glasses and the hair lip. I'm a woman now, and I can say it. Yes, I can say it. I was in love. Yes, love. With that cat. There. You didn't think I could say it, did you? The love that dare not speak its name. Cat love. Yes. Minty and I were in love. He made love to me. You hate that, don't you? And there's nothing that you or Mother or Kenneth or the clock or any number of doctors can do about it. I'm going. And I'm taking Minty with me. And I'm not coming back. Dinner time. Dolores!